All right, I am Ian Higgins and he's Sam Perry. We are poor people's Ian and Sam. Obviously, we had a big fight before the thing. Who's going to be Ian? Because Ian's supposed to be good looking. So we went to this new website called Hot or Not. I mean, both of them were actually checked as not, but I got less hate than him. And because he's Sam, but this Sam is with hair. So, you know, it's not all poor people's stuff. We're actually giving you more than Sam has. Ian has other things going on for him. And I just realized Ian, I thought Ian would have a massive, massive Insta following. He has 10,000 fucking people. I know people myself who have more than 10,000 people. This is fucking <laughs> crazy. And this guy has the best fucking Jofra Sir Arthur on his website, right? We've also got a sponsor. Except the only thing is Sleepy Owl. The only thing is that they don't know about, they don't pay us and they don't know about it. Okay, they don't know. Free but sponsor. Know about it. Free sponsor. <laughs> They'll get to know about it. Now, Vikram, that's his original name, but we're not going to talk about it. I'm Ian, this is Sam. We're going to talk about the most important thing to humanity right now, okay? Of course, it's only for, only when you say humanity, humanity only mean India and only mean very few people because rest of the world, nobody cares about it unless, 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 yes, unless Sam, they're getting paid for it, right? Then they really care about it and then they say exactly what you want to hear. I am talking about Indian Pesha League, IPL, where even if you don't play, we're sitting on the couch because you had an accident which was all cut and hurting over because you were going to see your mama without any clothes. I don't know what the hell that was about, but okay, now you're going to get 15 CR. CSI is going to get a lot of money. But let's talk about in a quick preview what is going to happen. But you know, predicting IPL is like, it's, 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 it's it's just crazy stuff, right? Because yeah. this, all the predictions just sound stupid. But how many times both of us have predicted something almost identical to what has happened towards the end of the year? That's been crazy, except nobody still cares about it. Apart from thing. RCB winning that tournament, that's never. Yeah, that, came don't, to. don't, 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 don't open up <laughs> old wounds. I don't know, we're probably going to fall for the same fucking thing again this time, but we'll find out in this podcast. Let's start with Royals. Now, Royals were in the final last time, right? Before that, nobody was talking about it until the, uh, apart from the very first time when they started and uh, late, great Shane Warne was there and Shane Warne won the league for them. And after that, they have just been like, you know, they've been very lukewarm. I think the only other team which has been worse than that was Punjab, right? Because Delhi eventually started winning and started qualifying, right? So now, I'm thinking that because they've already made the finals, they have the team. Will you say, in this in this small preview, we're just going to say yes, no, or maybe. We'll try not to say maybe. I'm not going to say any maybe. So I'm going to pick, I picked five teams and I'll say yes, they'll qualify for the, as we say, very pompously playoffs, which is knockouts. But technically, somebody is saying it's not very knockout also because, you know, you get the qualifiers. You know, so I get it, I get it. It's a fucking playoff. All right. So in this playoff, I picked five teams, which will qualify according to me. And five teams, I think they're not going to qualify. For Royals right now, I am saying yes, they will qualify. It's not going to be anti-incumbency because they already were at the top, then they'll fall down. But I still think they have a great team. I feel for them, Butler, Sanju and Root. I don't know what you have to think about it. Jaiswal is good. Mankashwin, that's his name, right? Mankad Ashwin is or just R. Ashwin. And I think Parag is still there, who is bad. And Padikal, I think he was just, you know, I think he was made to be a superstar. He was like, I think he was a paper star. I don't think he's going to do anything. He's going to play one decent innings and people will still keep paying money for him because he looks good as a left-hander, right? And Ganguly is a left-hander, so somebody will buy him. So, what do you think about Royals? Yes or no, and why do you think so? Um, yes, I think they have a settled team. They have. Um, it feels like they're very comfort. Uh, like all of them uh, played well last time, and you know, it feels like it's a good unit. So, yeah, I think I think yes for them qualifying. All right. What about Mumbai Indians? Because there has been a lot of negativity towards Mumbai Indians. I've been recently hearing. Now, the big problem they're facing right now. Is just be Bumrah. Now it's a double whammy. Okay, it's a it's a double whammy. Why? Because once Bumrah doesn't play, now what that means is now they have to bring in a international bowler, which is Berendorf, right? Because that they only have because obviously they have only four slots, right? Now both two big players, like the people who are going to be smash hits, uh, that is Stubbs and Brevis, who is the you know little. AB de Villiers, none of them, not even one of them can actually get into the team now. And which is a huge, huge problem for that because Bumrah is And Jofra Archasa, Jofra is just coming back from injury and he's been very expensive recently. Although he's been taking wickets, pace is not going to be so much a concern. He's been bowling like, you know, 140 odd. I don't think that's clearly a concern. Let's not talk about Ted Lucas' son, which is just bad news, but he just sits and he doesn't even come on the camera. So he's like, he's perfectly fine. But now Sky and Green are still there, purple patches. Sky has just had golden ducks, a hat-trick of golden ducks. I mean, how many times do you actually hear something like that and happen? Somebody was saying it's a law of averages. Eventually, it catches up to you and it did catch up to him. It was very, very interesting. Now, I am actually going for a hard no. 
I don't see Mumbai getting to. I mean, at the end of the day, people, I'll probably be slapped on my face in Mumbai qualifiers, but I really don't see it coming man, right now. I, Mumbai looks all all over the place, and Bumrah's injury is actually just you know for me that is the tipping point for me. For me, Mumbai is an absolute no. They're not going to qualify. They're going to make a hat trick of not qualifying. They were almost about to make a hat trick of actually winning IPLs, and now it's going to be a hat trick of not qualifying. Hopefully, I think they should just you know have uh, low expectation and try not to finish last like last time. Oh. Yeah, I think it's a, it's a easy no for me as well. Uh, I think you have already spoken a lot about their problems and I just feel that uh, apart from Sky all of their players have been I mean the bigger players uh, uh, we talk about Rohit Sharma Rohit Sharma is uh, is in on a downward spiral and uh, you know it's it's just too much for him he has been captaining the Indian team. Yeah, I mean it it's just bad I think uh, uh they spent lot of money we have talked about this last season they spent lot of money in ishan kishan and he just buckles under pressure and so i, I just feel i in in a in a in a tournament like this where there are more teams now from last year uh it i don't see them qualifying again and this has been a pattern with mumbai either they win the league or they don't qualify so it's a easy no for me correct but then they were obviously bouncing back it was one you want and the incumbency one it will hit them right once they win that they'll get slack off and then they come back but i mean love what happened last time they did not come back in fact they finished 10 bro they finished 10 mumbai indian finished yeah. 10 chennai finished 9 this was bad so let's talk <laughs> about rcb you know rcb is our has been our achilles heel with this we call it achilles heel is just like this if we jump if we can see the ditch and we keep falling in it we really can't really complain can we right every time we pick rcb It's toxic relationship just nothing Toxic relationship. <laughs> even uh, Kohli left all the captaincy. I mean, he's not even a captain of his own home, right? You know, Anushka runs the show. I mean, right now probably his kid is even like ranked higher than him. <laughs> like that's how bad it is at home. And mostly he's just going to this temple and all that shit that's going on. He's probably right now doing Ram Navmi. I mean, I don't want to say something bad about it because later on if he get pop popular, we'll probably get tracked by BJP and get kicked out of our houses, right? So uh, that's. So they do do Rahul Gandhi and Rahul is like you know I have other places to live but I'm going to fight for this motherfucking place. All right. So what do you think about RCB? I'm going for a yes, but again it's it's one of those things that you can never really say. If they start well they're going to be fine. If they don't start well they start catching up. I really hope it doesn't if they start well. But Sadhu Plassi is a definitely better situation. I'm not going to say he's a better captain, but right now given the situation forces to forces right now Virat Kohli is like he is not in that mental state of this thing. Plassi is a better player and he should go after it. And uh, I don't know. He can use favorite word. He can use the Virat can be the anchor, sheet anchor for the team. I just feel apart the bad for me is just the cursed destiny, which is just everything is cursed. I'm not picking them to win the league. I'm just saying yes to qualify. I'm not gonna say no. They're definitely. I'm not gonna go from them winning the league every single time and saying like no. So it's a yes for me. But again, this is this is not a hard yes. This is a yes. Like it was a hard no for Mumbai. But this is a definitely a yes, but I am just saying it won't surprise me. I don't want to sit on the fence, but I am definitely going with yes. Uh, yeah, it's a yes for me as well because I think uh, Fab has been playing well in in the other T uh, Twenty leagues and and apart. Uh, 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 like other place is not burden uh, that much right he is not he is retired from international cricket uh, he just plays those leagues so i think he has been playing well so that's a good sign virat kohli i know he has been on and off but he his his t20 form has been decent so i guess yeah that that's fine uh, but i just feel it's not just about virat kohli but i just feel that uh, up uh, the problem with rcb always had been they they didn't have an didn't have a settled side one one year they had some big players second year they were all kicked out uh, but with this new management i think they have uh, that uh, thing going on when where they are building the side and the core players are still there so i just feel like it's a, it's a good setup uh, uh, i'm not sure what is the deal with uh, um uh, you know maxwell because he had that freak injury maxi But... is in uh maxi is in i don't see that's the problem i've not heard anything yet but obviously because i think they're keeping it under the wraps but nasty is yeah. not like injured is as like he, he cannot play right now i think it's going to be a decision that it is okay maybe a lot of not jumping around and everything but that does take away something because he is a he is a genuine 3d player and let's not talk about the <laughs> 3d player from india right because god knows where he is is he in any team Is our Vijay Shankar anywhere? 
don't uh, know. He so. must be there somewhere, yeah. I think he's always pretending to be injured, so nobody <laughs> picks. He's like, no, I don't know. I wasn't picking. I was just injured. I was just injured. And guess one person is still laughing. He's still laughing. All right. Let's so, yeah. just sticking to yes. I mean, what is with this? Like both of us saying yes. Only reason you like Virat because he has a daughter. You have a daughter. He has a wife. You have a wife. Both of us like this from this. Yeah. <laughs> Hate it. You're wow. the Virat <laughs> apologist. This guy Sam, I can't take it anymore. Let's move on to DC, man. You know what? People are saying it's blessing in disguise. I think no, no. It's it's just it's just blessing. It's just blessing in open daylight. Okay, there is no disguise about this thing. I don't know why, and I can totally understand. Let me say I don't know why, but Ponting is is a hard nosed Aussie, as we you know use this term now for Aussie. He's a hard nosed or just hard nose, which is just like doesn't make grammatical sense. But you know, I'm not going to tell the legends of Australia, right? Particularly the border, who's actually named at the trophy. Okay, now I feel definitely uh, for DC also it's a hard yes. Particularly because um, I I'm, I'm not a sim I'm not I don't have any sympathy okay I I am not sentimental so I am he's he survived that horrific crash and he's living and I hope he comes back I doubt that he's going to be the same player but right now without any sentimentality or passionately I think it's a wonderful thing that Pant is not playing and because obviously I think his keeping skill and his batting skill would have been fine but he hasn't been there up up to speed with batting. He keeps far better, but his captaincy is one reason that DC would have never won anything. And if they were qualified, DC is a wonderful team. They have literally one of the best coaches out there, and with a lot of experience in this format and this IPL specifically. So I am going for a hard yes again because for me, Ponting is the real deal, and Warner becoming the captain. I think this is Warner's fag end of his career, but there's some limitation to uh, Warner when the ball starts swinging and doing other things. But when he gets going, and if he can just just hit it without worrying about getting out i think warner coming back as a captain i think he will be very very happy because i if you remember the last few months ago he actually tried to you know uh, become australian captain at least be eligible for it but they gave me a lot of crap he said i'm just done with it mana he's very happy ponting and warner i think dc is going to be going all the way so for me hard yes for me it's a no <laughs> because <laughs> i want to hear why, why, why do you think it's a no <laughs> uh, yeah, no, but I just I'm I'm happy in fact, but I want to hear like why are you going DC because DC has been doing very well, right? I mean they they DC. missed out last time, yes. Yeah, because <clears throat> I feel that <clears throat> I just feel that uh, uh, now it's a home and away situation, and uh, Delhi's uh, pitch has been very sluggish. Kotla. So I just yeah, yeah so I just feel short that boundaries. it short boundaries and sluggish pitch. Uh, so i just feel that i i mean i know you like warner and even i like warner but i just feel that uh he will struggle uh in this ipl and uh, as a cap if a captain is struggling and again i keep saying now this is a uh, you know uh, there are more team in, teams involved in this ipl so if you slip up even a little it gets very difficult to qualify so i just feel that because uh, and yeah i mean i'm i completely agree with pant that if pant was there his captaincy was very bad the last last year whatever happened with the praveen amre situation that was shameful uh but i just feel that as a team they I, they are a good team in fact all the teams are very good if you see uh, in ipl because we have the player ca- the salary cap and all that so it, it, it's not like a epl situation where only a few teams oh, have all the stars don't start <laughs> epl right now okay <laughs> But yeah, that's that's true, right? That's what's happening. Don't you can't deny that. Give you food. <laughs> <laughs> so, so I just feel that uh, uh, this uh, the track at Kotla won't suit uh, uh, Warner, and it will be a SRS kind of situation where where you know Warner will be struggling and then there will be dilemma that what should we do should we drop him should we bring someone else so yeah i think there there will be problems in delhi all right so I, well, i have a lot of things to coming up but i want to i want this podcast to be shorter so let's move on to lsg i am saying a no it's not a hard no because they have the team but they have a terrible terrible captain which nobody wants to understand kl for me is still a bad because he's going to make runs you know people have been joking about it they're not going to do anything but at least they'll give you the orange cap Talk about being selfish. So it's a no for me. I'm, I don't want to spend any more time on LSG. That's it. They have a good team, but they have a bad captain. And if there's only four teams going to qualify, LSG is a no for me. Yeah, it's a no for me as well. Uh, I think they did pretty well last year. They qualified. Yes, uh, they did. But we don't. We yeah. have never rated KL, right? 
and right, legitimately but, for legitimate reasons. But the thing is, they qualified because of the uh, uh, you know the early season peak. Uh, uh, some players were playing very well, and then Correct. they said, then they like somehow they managed to qualify. So I just feel that uh, that momentum, the loss of momentum, will carry on uh, to this season. Uh, their players are not really hot, so I feel that yeah, it will be a struggle for them, uh, at least in the first half of the season. And uh, yeah, KL is always there, so <laughs> it's easy now. KL is always there for the KLPD, right? All right, <laughs> I know, I know. We, if, if there are regular listeners, they're like, why are we not talking about a favorite person? Yes, I'll just drop his name and then we'll move on and then we'll talk about him in the other podcast and the IPL starts. Obviously, we're talking about Gautam Gambi, right? The legend, the legend. He's the coach, man. I want to see him punch KL when they lose. It's going to be amazing. The day of my life, which is not the first time I saw my child or my man. It will be bottom Gambi's punching KL in the middle of the pitch. Bigger than the drama that had happened with the Stardazia. All right, Punjab. Now, 